a sneak peek ahead to Thursday night's game. It should be a good one. The Chiefs were the last of the undefeateds to go yesterday. Your Steelers got the job done. And Kareem Hunt mm -hmm. was almost a non-factor, which is as impossible as that sounds. Nine carries, 21 yards. Let's bring in our insider now, Dave Scretta, who covers the Chiefs. And Dave, do you expect Hunt to be more involved Thursday when they take on the Raiders? I don't think it's really fair to say he wasn't involved. He, you know, he led the team in, in catches and and had 89 yards receiving. So that was, so that was effective. The the Steelers really did a good job of taking away the running game. Uh, they they loaded the box all game. Um, the Chiefs' offensive line is missing two starters again, so they were really struggling to open up holes. So I, I think the Chiefs just decided to sort of abandon the run, and, and they still tried to get the ball in Kareem's hands and, and did that out of the backfield a little bit. Uh, it'll be a little easier sledding, I think, against Oakland. But, uh, but uh, you know, teams are going to start start kind of ganging up against the run. They know the secret's out on Kareem Hunt, and, and they know what he can do, and they know that if you take him away, you're going to force the Chiefs to throw the ball. And right now, that's that's not going to be their strong suit the rest of the season with the wide receiver core that's banged up. All right, thank you very much, Dave. So, again, when you look here at what the Raiders have done as you peek ahead to Thursday night, your Steelers may have shown the way, mm -hmm. but the Raider defense, which we thought would be pretty good, yeah. is not the Steeler defense exactly. right now. So can they do what the Steelers did Sunday and stop Kareem Hunt? It depends on what team they will face offensively with the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs offense that we saw this past Sunday, they had issues on the offensive line as far as injuries. Yes. We know Calvin, uh, Travis Kelsey played, but yet and still. Didn't look like the same He did guy. not look like he was well and over that concussion. Mm -hmm. Tyreek Hill was not a big time part. And not having Chris Conley, who tore his Achilles uh, oh. a, a week ago against the Houston Texans, that's a big loss. He may not be the household name when you talk about the Kansas City Chiefs offensive stars, but he means a lot to that team. He's a durable a, a confident, yeah. experienced number two wide receiver and not having Chris Conley trying to find a replacement for him, that's going to be a big time issue for them. And also, Albert Wilson, yeah. he may not be another household name, but this is a guy that knows that system extremely well. He has a pretty good chemistry with the quarterback, Alex Smith, and not having him participate yesterday. You saw how big a loss though that was for those two guys not being in uniform. Hopefully you get Alex, uh, Albert Wilson back sooner yep. than later. We know Chris Conley will not be in uniform for the remainder of the year. I was surprised. Again, you stopped Kareem Hunt, which was a surprise. Yep. But then I thought Alex Smith had kind of gotten over that game manager moniker and that he'd be able to beat you with his arm. Yep. He could not do that yesterday against the Steelers. Yep. Not having time, I think. Most importantly, getting the offensive line healthy because the offensive line, when they're healthy, they can open ho holes for Kareem Hunt. Yep. They can give Alex Smith the time to really go through his progressions, and clearly we did not see that yesterday. Should be a good one on Thursday night, Raiders and Chiefs.